Galicious responds to followers criticizing her body during her weight loss journey. So I had to hurry up and get on here because y'all was like, yo, is D sick? Why she so little? <laughs> I'm not sick. I just stopped eating processed foods. Be and sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Once I, once, and stop asking me about these lopsided ass. I told y'all, hi, Pookie. I told y'all when I finally take them out, I'm not putting nothing else in. I've had them for over 10 years. Um, what's going on with them is, it's a condition that, hi, Joe. It's a condition that a lot of women go through. This is my second time. So the first time it happened, this one, it's, um, it's called contract, y'all can look at it. But there's nothing wrong with them. It's all cosmetic. But one gets harder than the other. Or sometimes your capsule, both of them, can get hard. Last time, it was my right one. I had them changed out. And now it's my left one. So it's not a medical condition. It just, they just, they on my nerve. I'm ready to take them out. I'm 46. So I just haven't taken them out yet because when I do, they gone for good. They look good. They look odd because the, the smaller I get, the bigger they look. There you go. Encapsulated. You said it perfect. Thank you. What's your name? Lady T? Lady T know what I'm talking about. So it happens to a lot of people, actually. It's pretty common. Um, problem with mine is the doctor did tell, tell me, like they'll tell you, um, the twins. Well, they not identical. You see this one is bigger than this one. Um, and they're, they're over a decade old, so. Aw, thank you. You guys are so sweet. But thank you for saying I look amazing. Some of y'all are like, are you sick? No. So I'm on my health kick. I always do this around the summer because naturally in my, um, you said stand up. Let's see the rest of you. Okay, then. There's people in here, but <laughs> I go live with y'all when I'll have guests. <laughs> um, say hi back to you. Hi, Buki. I'm sorry. Um, when you get older, one is bigger than the other one. I don't know if it happens with age because the first time that it happened when it was encapsulated, I was, this is a, a few years back, and my waistline, thank you. Yo, y'all know I go crazy in the gym, and it's hot. I'm in Georgia, and it is like 90 degrees today, um, but I go hard in the gym. It's like, hey, jackpot, I love you more. Um, I'm naturally really, really thick, and the older I get, the harder it is for me to lose the weight. So now I go hard, 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 hard. And then my family, naturally, they got big big hips, big thighs, but it drops as they get older. And I love my family, so I'm not saying nothing bad about my family. And they look good. Hi, Shari Moore, that's my baby. Um, but I don't want I don't want my to drop, so I work out a lot. And so now that is sitting, I didn't got hip to some workouts y'all that would have them legs, them thighs, and that so right um, from reverse lunges, um, the RDLs, everything that I've been doing now has been building my backside and shrinking my waist, even though I've never had a problem like losing, you know, weight or whatever. Now it's more so like keeping it toned and staying healthy. And as far as me looking so thin, once I stop eating processed foods, I didn't know how bad that was. You hear people say stuff like, eat healthy, and I try to eat healthy. Um, don't eat processed foods, and don't eat this. And sometimes we don't even know what that even consists of. But as soon as I stopped, I slowed down on the processed food, my weight just started dropping. Like, some of the food that they sell for us in the stores is really, really, really bad for us. Like, really bad. Sit a glass of wine on it. I know that's right. It's like that. I gave up on losing weight. My ass is big. Um, you ain't fell off yet. Well, I don't want to fall off. <laughs> um, whatever that means. Listen, there's no pressure. 
the world. Let me tell you this. If I don't tell you anything else, one day we are all going to perish. In the meantime, live your life and live happy. Don't worry about strangers. Be as polite and kind and loving, energetic and happy as you can. Life comes with a lot of things that we don't have any control over. So the things that we do have control over is how we react to them. So I'll be hearing y'all. I'll be seeing y'all in the comments. But I have way more love than I ever have hate. So I'm grateful. Um, so thank you. That's very sweet. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG TV.